in this vlog i'll be sharing my three favorite digital wallets but before that let's start this vlog with smile an everlasting smile Since, if I'm not mistaken, last year or 2017, in Malaysia, they started to introduce digital wallet. Uh, these private companies, Razer, Boost, Touch and Go, Fave. It seems like everyone wants to have their own digital wallet. But to me, at first, I'm not really into it because. Why do I need multiple apps installed in my phone just to perform a transaction? Can, can we just have one digital wallet that can perform all transactions? So digital wallet means you can store value in the apps. For example, Boost. Before you can start using Boost, you need to top up first you need to reload so that you can have a certain amount of value and you can transact based on that value available in your current wallet this is like a prepaid card this is my three favorites digital wallet as of today the first one is boost i've been using boost since quite some time a lot of um, outlets accept boost as as a, pay, as a method of payment Another cool thing about Boost is that the cashback rebate I think one, one of the selling points for every digital wallet is the rebate or the promo that comes with it So for Boost, whenever you perform any transaction they will instantly give you a cash rebate and credit it into your boost account so for example if you perform one ringgit transaction then you'll be getting maybe 20 cent it depends on the value of the transaction the other thing that i like about boost is that i can withdraw the money in my digital wallet into my bank account so let's say i top up it into my boost account and suddenly I need to use cash and I can I can withdraw it I can transfer it from my digital wallet to my bank account but the transaction will take around two or three days which is I don't really understand why do you need such a long time just to perform a transfer between my digital wallet to my bank account it should be real time that is not acceptable. The second digital wallet that I am currently using is the Touch and Go wallet. When they first roll out the application, I don't really get on board because there are a lot of limitations or constraints with their application at that time. So I find it not practical for me to use it but after a certain period of time they improved it they came up with RFID program and I enrolled into the pilot program which I will link my video here I did a review on RFID based on my own experience now they introduce another feature where it integrates directly with your card meaning whenever you perform any transaction using your touch and go card it will deduct the value directly from your digital wallet all you have to do is to register your touch and go card into your digital wallet and from there you can check the balance I think in the future they will introduce a feature whereby you can reload or top up your touch and go card My third favorite digital wallet is drum roll. 
settle just like any other digital wallet you still need to reload your money by doing a transaction via credit card or debit card or you can do through online banking you need to transfer certain amount of money into settle then what it does is you can use it to fill up petrol at Petronas for now only at Petronas station so the unique thing about settle is that first you can only use it at selected Petronas petrol station second you can only use settle when you are at the Petronas station third you don't have to get off the car just to make a transaction to pay for the fuel. So let's say you want to fill up your car and you reach this particular station that support center. Stop at any pump. Open up your application. It will detect the location of the station. Select the pump number. Make a payment. Leave your phone inside the car. Then you can just fill up the petrol. It is very convenient if you have toddler or kids and you don't want to leave them alone in the car. So that is the three digital wallet that I am currently using. I use it because it is practical, convenient and cash rebate. I have one tip for you. How can you withdraw? your cash from your credit card without paying a high interest rate download boost click on the link in my description top up your boost digital wallet using credit card once done you can withdraw the money from your digital wallet from boost digital wallet to your saving or current account by doing that, you will not be charging the high interest rate of withdrawing money from your credit card account. So you are not withdrawing directly from the bank, uh, from your credit card, but you, you are withdrawing from your digital wallet. So that's it. Show some love by clicking the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified for the next vlog. Till then, Bye!